Hey all, and we're back with another summary for Klein Out of the Darkness, Session 4. In this session, Quartermaster was brought in, a outsider from the city who was trapped when the city was sealed off. A Guardian of the Veil left to drop off a message. He was told to wait until the barrier stopped, but he was slowly cut off from being informed. Going with a contact, a Guardian sleeper by the name of Bart, Sleepwalker, sorry. He touched base with them and the sleepwalker was concerned what was happening to the guardians. He hadn't heard of people other than this star mirror for quite some time and asked, even though he was an outsider, if he would check on the situation. Quartermaster did. Meeting up with the rest of the Cabal after the night before of the vampire attack, the Cabal had a chance to rest. Talco was still quite injured, but they decided they had to make progress today and went out to seek the heart. Uh, Heartseeker Cabal Sanctum. After being informed by the Herald that it had been possibly abandoned. On their searching, they found a vampire within this hidden sanctum, missing a hand. They enchanted it, hopefully trying to keep it there and continue their exploration. Within, they found a hollow, collecting some tasks, and a room filled with a bunch of documents, papers, and other paraphernalia. Finding some ruins that suggested that casting could be an issue um, something triggered the trap awakening three of the armors animating them with spirits thinking quickly quartermaster attempted to make no one would be able to see each other within the room before escaping for one reason or another the suit seemed unaffected or at least poorly affected by this spell and started to attack the cabal starmere managed to grab the document while their arrow friend was still watching the unconscious vampire, unfortunately, Calco did not get any message or figure out what was going on before he started becoming stabbed. He was injured badly before the Cabal could come in and help him. Rushing them quickly to the Proxi, they knew could heal. They quickly learned that the Proxi had to take the injuries on themselves in order to heal them, though they did help bring Talco back to consciousness and discussion. Meanwhile, the paper swipe seemed to be some kind of accord with the vampires that the city seemed to have struck some time ago. This is going to require more research. It left off with the sun about to set, the Cabal deciding to split up, half returning to the bar, half staying at the Proxi's home to look after their injured friend. And that is a quick summary of what happened in Klein of the Darkness, everyone. Next session will be the 27th, 1900 EST time. Hope everyone has a great couple weeks. Bye now.